No, lo digo en el sentido de este de Bon dia, buenos dies. Bienvenidos a la Universidad de Santiago de Compostela para comenzar esta semana de trabajo en el ámbito de la fonética, de la fonética inglesa en este primer seminario que bajo la organización de la profesora Ángeles Gómez eh, va a tener lugar. Welcome to the University of Santiago de Compostela. It's a pleasure for me and I'm sure for the rest of the university to have you uh, attending this uh, week at uh, our faculty of uh, philology and certainly, well, it's, it's a small room, so probably you, you were able to follow me. And uh, I'm sure that uh, you will be able to appreciate uh, the level of the course. You will take uh, advantage of it and we will get the best results uh, possible. But uh, the first place, uh, it is the, the time to uh, express a welcome to the organizer. Professor Maria de los Angeles Gomez, por favor. Okay, good morning. On behalf of the organizing committee of the... Uh, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the first international workshop on this course analysis. Albora was born with the intention of serving as a meeting that will be held regularly to discuss and promote descriptive and applied research on this course analysis, crossing disciplinary borders. The participants will be academics and trainees from different backgrounds and the locale will be the University of Santiago de Compostela campus. This first edition has been conceived as a small-scale 40-hour course. This is not only due to the limited seating capacity of the computer room of this faculty, but should also be seen as a deliberate effort to encourage practical interaction and synergies among participants and presenters. The aim is to bring the aim is to foster lifelong learning and innovation. Future editions of Iwater will, we hope, become larger scale events. Our advisory board is considering the idea of including a call for papers and posters to be presented to the workshop. And we are also studying the possibility of launching a journal or a periodical to publish outstanding research submitted to us. We understand this course very broadly as language in use, in context. And we are interested in its analysis from different perspectives and disciplines. Linguistic, literary, cognitive, sociolinguistic, sociological, critical, cultural, filmic, or semiotic, to mention but a few. As we believe that all these views 
will contribute to a better understanding of how language works. Our striving for multi- and interdisciplinarity has inspired us to bring together in our scientific committee more than 40 individuals from 30 prestigious institutions from all over the world, who are internationally reputed leaders in their respective fields and who have readily accepted to help make Iwoda a scholarly success. Among them, there are discourse analysts such as Paul Baker and Ruth Wodak from the University of Lancaster. The former will give a seminar on critical discourse analysis on Thursday, and the latter is possibly the world's leading expert in this discipline, as well as a president of the Societas Linguistica Europea. <clears throat> there are also linguists who explore lexicograma from a discourse perspective, such as Ricardo Mayral from the UNED, president of the Spanish Association of Applied Linguistics, and Lachlan Mackenzie, present here, from the Free University of Amsterdam and the ILTEC in Lisbon, research manager of CIMITAR, Santiago Centre International Media for Interactional, Typological and Acquisitional Research, one of the organizing teams of this event, as you probably know by now. Likewise, there are experts in corpus linguistics and computational analysis, such as Douglas Viber, Northern Arizona University, and two of our guest speakers in this workshop, Mike Scott, Aston University, who will present us the latest version of the computer program of his design, Wordsmith Tools. And Christopher Stuart Butler, an eminent member of CIMITAR, who will show us research methods in the study of language. As a specialist in literary discourse, stylistics, and film studies, we could mention Michael Turlan from the University of Birmingham and Peter Stockwell from Nottingham University. General Editor of the Radledge English Language Interaction Series and our Friday morning narrator on cognitive poetics. Further insights of cognitivism and psychology are provided by, among others, Ian Parker, currently co-director of the Discourse Unit at Manchester Metropolitan University. Francisco Ruiz de Mendoza, La Rioja, Editor-in-Chief of the Annual Review of Cognitive Linguistics, John Benjamins, and our second presenter this week, Constantino Arce from the USC, who has taken the challenge of using statistics to lay a bridge between psychology and philological studies. Lastly, sociology and social linguistics are represented by Elizabeth Stockholm from Loverall University. And our last speaker on Friday, Melissa Moya, Autonoma de Barcelona, member of the CIEM group that works on intercultural communication and negotiation strategies. No less variegated are the backgrounds and profiles of those who have registered for this workshop. We would like to greet the postdoc and postgraduate students from the three Galician universities, Santiago, Coruña, and Vigo, and from other institutions, as well as most especially the professors who have made time in their busy agendas to come and join us, the members of the USC Discourse and Identity Research Group, in order to do discourse analysis in this setting. Laura Alba Guez from UNEP, leader of the FAMDEP Functions of Language, excuse me, Functions of Discourse, Evaluation in Textiles. Pilar Alonso from Salamanca University, coordinator of the group CODIS, Coherencia del Discurso. Yvonne Baker de Altamirano, coordinator of the English Department of the CUT, Centro Universitario del Ministerio de Defensa, Zaragoza. Juan Iguerra. Mercedes Cabrera Abreu and Francisco Vizcaíno Ortega, leader of members of the Cognitive Poetics Research Group from the Canary Islands. Maria del Carmen Cotillo, Scotria, and Carmen Chávez Sánchez from the Applied Linguistic Departments of the University Nacional Autónoma de Mexico and the Universidad Veracruzana de Mexico. Jesús Moya Guijarro, Castilla La Mancha, coordinator of the MLI Research Group, Multimodalidad y Literatura Infantil. Isabel Moscovich, Begoña Crespo, José Manuel Estevesa, and María Jesús Lorenzo Modia from the University of A Coruña, coordinators and members of MUSTE, Research Group for Multidimensional Corpus Based Studies in English, Armageen, University Institute of Research in Irish Studies, and CLEAN, Literatura y Cultura Inglesa Moderna y Contemporánea. And María Sánchez Tornel, member of the LASAL team from the University of Murcia, Linguística Aplicada, Computacional, Enseñanza de Lenguas y Lexicografía. 
Now, I would like to close my intervention by giving a massive thank you to everyone who has helped and supported us in this endeavor. The USC, thank you, Rector Magnificus, for kicking off I World I Love It today. The Faculty of Philology and its government team for promptly attending to our needs. Thank you, Juan, for your presence here. The English and German department, thank you, Luis, for your permanent support and advice. Our research groups, seminars, and discourse and identity. Thank you to Manuel, coordinator of the latter, and to all our colleagues, friends, and technicians in these teams for your encouragement, good work, and positive attitude. Our partner research groups from the UDC, already mentioned, thank you as well for your enthusiastic response. The Junta de Galicia and the Spanish Ministry of Innovation and Science, without whose financial support, this collective adventure would have not even started. And last but not least, we thank you all, guest speakers and workshop attendants, for coming and supporting us with your presence. May I want to begin and be a grand success this week and in the years to come. We hope you really love your stay in Santiago de Compostela, the capital of Galicia, a pilgrimage destination for over 1,000 years and a delicious, delicious place to enjoy culture, art, and food, among many other things. Thank you very much for your attention and bienvenidos. This is a great opportunity in which the organizers have brought together so reputed and <laughs> so reputed and prestigious speakers from different universities of Europe. You would have the opportunity to see the exploration and, uh, and the analysis of uh, discourse analysis from different uh, perspectives. And I think that you can enjoy with this seminar. And so basically, it's a very good opportunity for us to promote our, our studies here at this university. And so the department is really proud of it. So thank you very much, Dr. Maria Los Angeles Gomez-Gonzalez, for coordinating so brilliantly this uh, symposium on Compostela International Workshop and Discourse Analysis. My gratitude is also extended to the coordinators of uh, the research group, Justine Vitar, Maria Los Angeles Gomez-Gonzalez, and the coordinator of the research group, Identity and Discourse, or Discourse and Identity, by Dr. Babrit. Obviously, I also encourage our students to enjoy and participate in the activities of this seminar, and I hope they have, that they would have a great opportunity to increase knowledge, their knowledge about these particular topics. And finally, I welcome you all to this department and I wish you all a very stimulating and engaging workshop. Thank you very much. Tenga palabra, tenga palabra a continuación, o vicedecano da Facultad de Filología, o profesor Juan Casas Rigal. Excelentísimo y magnífico rector, eh, colegas de la Universidad de Facultad de Filología, señoras y señores. 
And on behalf uh, of the Dean of our faculty and his team, I would like to welcome all the participants in this international workshop. I am sure that the meeting will be a great success, both at the level of organization and from an academic point of view. And all the members of the staff of the Faculty of Philology at your disposal for anything you may need during these days. Thank you so much and congratulations. of the table but the opening of uh, the sessions. I would like to really uh, mention the importance for our university to get going type of workshop like the one we are initiating today and uh, this academic uh, the year that ends this week but starts next week so clearly we can talk about uh, the coming years to make it uh, a success story. A success story like it has been for many years, our Department of uh, English and now English and German Studies. Because uh, we only have to look at the number of students that uh, continuously enter the classrooms of our university. We can only think in terms of the research results of the groups working at our university in uh, English. And that proves that uh, English uh, philology, it's uh, so important, both within the faculty and uh, our university. And also, it is important to transmit, and I sincerely thank uh, uh, Professor Gomez, organizing meetings like this to go beyond the uh, limits of the faculty or even the university, bringing together people to Santiago, to enforce the idea that uh, English is not only the lingua franca of uh, almost uh, anywhere in the world, but certainly at uh, university uh, level, both in terms of teaching, lecturing, and uh, research for all of us, whether it's like me in engineering or like anybody else uh, in any of the, area, of the areas uh, of uh, knowledge. Uh, that we all share that common way of communication, but also communicating directly. I can, I don't have a clear idea, certainly a remote idea, about the number of times being a really small child that I was forced one and a thousand times to repeat yes and no towards. Uh, uh, initially an endless uh, process uh, at home to prove that there was only one correct way of saying it that everybody would appreciate that it was the, the right one to say. And then eventually I uh, tried also passing by generations uh, to uh, keep it uh, with my sons. But certainly, uh, phonetics is uh, such an important part of uh, the language, the discourse analysis. It's uh, so necessary to make us all feel comfortable when we are uh, talking to each other and not feel like strangers. And clearly, there are difficulties uh, involving uh, Spanish, uh, original Spanish speaking and English because the accents are uh, quite different. And, uh, the way we use our capabilities to express it are certainly different and uh, probably over the years have become more and more difficult. But workshops like this one bring together people. That disruptive technology that's been the uh, ITC technologies are making possible uh, the going beyond, going beyond uh, uh, different areas uh, of the world to make things easier as well and I appreciate the effort making this uh, workshop 
to uh, introduce them so deeply into it. And uh, I would like also to mention uh, the fact that uh, this is uh, clearly an effort made uh, by uh, Professor Gomez, but it's also an effort made by a number of people working on a network, network where we have the participation uh, of the University of, uh, of Karana uh, in a very important and uh, significant way and uh, clearly uh, either we try to operate under a cooperation basis or it's going to be very difficult, it's going to be increasingly difficult at least for our university system to keep up uh, organizing and uh, making uh, a reality the celebration of uh, workshops and congresses and symposiums in the years to come. So thank all of you for being here and as I mentioned uh, at the start of uh, this session that uh, you will enjoy Santiago, it's uh, probably for most of you it's a, a city that you've been before, but if not, so I'm sure that you will appreciate all of uh, the things that are worthwhile uh, seeing in this small town. And also that uh, your work brings something together into the future to make things more easier, or to bring the, the limits of knowledge a bit further but certainly uh, making sure that the mission of the university and all of us who work there, it's uh, really a compromise with society and uh, we're trying to make it uh, the best uh, possible. So again, uh, work hard this week. Enjoy the free time that I'm sure in spite of a uh, exhaustive uh, <laughs> schedule organized uh, by Professor Gomez and her uh, collaborators uh, will let you uh, spend also some time away from this faculty. That's all. Thanks very much for your attention.